you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time you are watching uh -oh. Melody Hello, everybody. It's Melody Lane, and I think we are live on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch. Hi, we are live. I see your chat on YouTube. On, oh, I can't speak. Uh, Facebook. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. You will not believe this. I thought I was completely ready for this video, and I'm sitting here reading the chat because everyone comes and chats ahead of time, and we're talking, and uh, somebody says, are we live yet? And I look at the clock. Oh, we're a minute late. Sorry. Um, I didn't mean to do that, and I need to shut my video off so you guys don't hear me, and I can have some volume to hear if something happens hey guys okay so today we are going to let me grab this try to engrave on these i haven't opened it my assistant said today shouldn't we try that before we do it live and i said no she wanted me to do it so she could take a picture i said no i want to open it live because it's more fun it's more fun. There's anticipation for something going completely wrong. And if you're like me, that's kind of, I, I, I don't, you know, it's, nothing's going to go totally wrong. We're just hoping. <laughs> I said in the chat beforehand, I hope someone here knows how to engrave on these. And I want to give a shout out to Kay Hall from Clever Someday. She did engrave on these on her Cricut. And she said these were the ones. She shared it in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. And we confirmed that this is the pack she got. So I shared the link for this, and I shared this a few days ago. Some of you have it. I'm really hoping it works. <laughs> I, I think it will. There's directions on the back. I have never, ever worked with the Impress Art things before. And somebody told me to buy this, too. So I went and Amazon primed it. Is that a verb? Primed it? um and I ordered this got this yesterday and this i guess you write in the um engraving to make it bigger i i don't really know because they put a sticker over the instructions thanks amazon uh, there's a sticker over the bottom of the instructions so i hope we're all here today hi nikki hoffman from florida um and thank you everybody for helping other people and answering questions. Hi, Glenda and Angela and Jamie and Kim. Okay, and Anne and Fatima. Okay, first, let's go to Design Space real fast. Over here. Okay, so this, oh my goodness, my chat. My chat's been doing this lately. Sorry, I gotta fit it. I fit it. And then I switch and I go back and it changes. Okay, so here's what I'm putting on my bracelet. I am putting, I am grateful. So when I look down at this bracelet, it gets sunk in my head that I'm grateful. I think being grateful is very helpful to your life. It makes you happy, it makes me happy. If I'm ever sad, all I have to do is think about what I'm grateful for. And you know, it's just a joy that comes into your heart. So I want to always know that I am grateful. So I couldn't decide, as some of you have a problem with that too. I'm not the only one that can't decide. These are Cricut fonts. These are writing fonts. And I'm going to show you, for some of you that may be new, which one, um, why is this not, there it goes, <laughs> which one, uh, I asked you guys in my group, Cricut Design Space, I took a poll, which one do you guys like best? This, I am grateful. It's the storybook font. It won by a landslide. This is the mustache font. I really like that. This is the one I did on my uh, dog's um, 
tag that I did a video on that. And then what's this one? This one is Easton. I don't think I've ever seen this one, but I kind of like it. I like how that R goes down there a little bit. These three I did not move. I did not ungroup. I did not do anything to. There's a link to this in the description. You guys, it's a free file. You guys, it's if you have access, it's free. Otherwise, you have to own the fonts. But it's I just typed it and hit it for engraving. It's really nothing. Um, but I really, really like this font. Text uh, is DJ Jer. That's the font is DJ Jer, J E R. Um, but I don't know that it fits for this bracelet. But I love, and I am zoomed in. I'm gonna zoom in some more. I love that it kind of has a shadow, and this is writing. So it's gonna kind of fill in that shadow there. Isn't that cool? I really like that. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, and I have already done these and set these to engrave. Uh, so we're gonna do this one today, but, and this is the size of the bracelet. So I measured the bracelet as well as I could do while it's in the package. We'll double check that before we actually uh, engrave it. Uh, I put it as a half an inch and three inches across. Does anybody have any advice on that? I really don't know how long it should be. I have fat wrist. So I, I was guessing on the three inches. We're going to try it. If it doesn't work out, Lynn, Love, uh, Lynn Loves Craft, Chalk Craft. <laughs> uh, she said the other day, well, if you don't like it, you can turn it over and do it again. And I thought, oh my gosh, what a great idea. So if we make a mistake, it's okay. This comes with many more. So if you buy this kit, you get this tool that you can bend the bracelet and that you have all of these extras. And then if you're gonna make these for gifts or sell them or anything, you can just buy more and just keep this. And there's a link to this in the description from Amazon. They do get a small commission when you purchase through my Amazon links. Okay, uh, so for those of you that are new, I'm just gonna do this real fast. I am great. Full. And we are at 200%. I did that so you guys could see it better. Okay, so this is what happens. I see questions every single day in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. How do you make these not bubble? Do you know what I mean? But those people aren't watching my videos that keep asking that question over and over. I don't know how to make them watch. Okay, so some of their answers that they're getting are to go up to line type and change it to draw. Well, that's what they're doing and that's making it bubble. That's not the correct answer. So let's click that again. The correct answer is go to style. When you do this on a mobile device, it, the style is right next to the font. So click on style, click on writing. If you only want a font that has writing style, click on filter and click on writing. And every single one of these, there's like 300 fonts with writing styles and they're pretty awesome. Some of them are really, really cool and you have no idea what they are on some of them until you click them. Like I, I've never seen that one because I have not clicked all hundreds of these, but that's a pretty cute font. Okay, now if I want to engrave this, of course, I would make it down to the size that I need. I'm just doing this real quick. And I would, if I have the Cricut Maker, I have to make sure this is selected as Maker. And then I go over to Line Type, because we're not going to draw, we're going to engrave. So we're going to change this to engrave. But I want you to look over here at the Layers panel. It says Draw, and this is the one we're doing. So I'm gonna change it to engrave and look at, look at this, I haven't changed it yet. Now when I change this to engrave, nothing happens to the words. We cannot see any difference, but it does say it over here in the layers panel. Keeping an eye on the layers panel is very important in design space so you know what's going on. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I have so many people um, and we're a little bit behind, so some of your questions I think I've already answered. Uh, we have so many people helping out in the chat. 
Terry Brown on Facebook says, do you have a sewing tape measure? Yeah, I have a Cricut one, the pink one that's really cute. I think I have two of them. I cannot find them anywhere. I'm going to have to order another one. I used to sit here and hold it like if I was nervous or something and keep my hand busy with that tape. And it was always right here on my desk and it's nowhere to be found. So uh, thank you for that suggestion. That would have been a great idea. It, I had that idea. We looked for it. Uh, Sherry on YouTube, is there a reference guide for the maximum thickness of materials that we can use? I Two millimeter, I would say. I don't think we want to go over that. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, what do we want to do? Okay. First, we are going to, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong, I'm clicking on my other screen, not my actual. Okay. I'm going to hide these. Maybe I, I will want them later. And hide this one because this one and this one are the only ones that I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna click make it. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick about measuring. I did show this in my last engraving video. Um, so some of you have seen it, we're gonna try it again. So today, and remind me after I open this to actually measure it, we are going to, I think I did something wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I am going to click this. I almost forgot how to do it. I'm clicking this circle right here and I'm gonna move this to another mat. We're gonna do it on the yellow mat. And we're gonna move this onto this, but I am going to move, I can't put this right here because the end of my bracelet will be over here on the edge. That's not gonna work. So I, uh, let's put it on the, I'm going to put it on the five inch and two inch mark. So it's on the five inch right here and the two inch is where it's going to start. And then I'm going to put this, I am grateful right there. I hope it goes right. Some of it might be cut off the top or bottom, but you know what? We're trying it out. We'll see what happens. Maybe we need to make it a little smaller to fit it on the bracelet. We're trying our best. Okay. So now we can't this piece the yellow piece is not set to engrave it's set to cut we can't cut the bracelet we certainly don't want to cut it right there it it would break the machine it wouldn't cut it uh so we're going to select the yellow square rectangle i know my shapes and we're going to hide it so now this will stay right there where we have it okay so let's go over here and let's go ahead and open this up. You are watching uh -oh. Melody. Sorry, got rid of that. Okay, and we have lots of tape. This is masking tape. I got a whole rainbow thing of masking tape. So it's, it, we got lots of tape. We got the purple mat and we got our tools. I got my scissors. Oh, maybe I don't need my scissors. I'm just kind of rip this open. Ooh. Oh, so these see like it's blue. That must be a protective coating on it. Okay. Oh, these have tape on them. They're real light, okay. Oh, wait, let's measure it in here. Yeah, it's a little over a half an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the mat just above the two inch mark because it is more than a half an inch. I think I was using the half an inch for um, to make sure. And three inches, I think it's gonna get, I mean, three inches might be too long, but we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna try it. 
Okay. Yeah, this one has film on both sides. Any um, ideas how to get that off? Hold on, let me get a weaving tool. Where's my pokey one? That I just scratched it a little. That might be the bottom. Or if I just do it, oh, there. Do it on this edge because if it scratches, it teeny, teeny, teeny. But I, I did it without scratching. Maybe it takes practice. Oh my gosh, are you guys as nervous as I am? Oh. Okay. So I don't stab myself. Putting the little thing back on. Oh my gosh, are you guys nervous like me? Who is here just waiting for me to crash? It could happen. Okay, this is the Strong Grip mat. And we have that set at the two and five inch. Well, here, let's turn this around the correct way so we can see. The two and five inch. This is where we want it to start. Oh, you know what? It'd be nice to figure out how long these actually are. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're six inches wide. So the three inches would be one and a half inch on each side. So I'm going to put this at the one and a half, not the one and a half, the three and a half because I have it set to do it at five and Put it just above it because I have it set at a half an inch and it's just a tiny bit bigger. So if I set it above, it should be okay, right? Well, it's not really above, it's right on it. Okay, so we're gonna go like an inch and a half, not an inch and a half, <laughs> three and a half. No, oh, I think that's too high. And it's not even, but boy, is it sticky. I'm gonna wipe this clean. Okay, okay, I think that might be good. Do you guys think it's good? the end of the tape okay now we do not want to look at what I did on that we do not want to put tape over the engraving area so between five and eight is where the engraving might be thanks Jana for becoming a member of the channel so I'm gonna leave a little extra room over here just to make sure. And eight, so I'm gonna go a little further just to be sure. Remember, I've never done this before. I've engraved. You guys, I think I've only engraved live. Like I've never engraved without you guys watching me. The biggest thing is to make sure your mat is sticky Make sure you tape this down. Because if it were to move, it would ruin it. So you know what, I'm gonna, I'm not touching it, but I don't know. I just feel like this might help a little. You don't want any tape getting stuck up or a go on your machine. And oh my gosh, you guys, I could have really messed up because I just looked at my machine and I need to move my star wheels. 
make sure you do that because I was cutting some paper and <laughs> the mat was not real sticky and the paper was moving. I'm like, oh, I'm going to move my star wheels back and that'll help hold that down. Okay. Are we, are we good for this? Do you guys think? What is the metal I'm working with? I think it's aluminum, I think. Yeah, aluminum bracelets. Okay, you guys, all of a sudden I'm hot and nervous. Okay. I'm so nervous. I'm going to move the camera, guys, so you guys can see. Okay, star wheels, before I forget, these are the star wheels. You never want these out when you're cutting wood, chipboard, thick things, acrylic, metal. Move these little things over here. This is why you cannot uh, cut wood or chipboard that's more than 11 inches because you need room for these. Okay. And we need the engraving tool. So we're putting this. Oh, you guys can't see down here. Quick swap housing. Engraving blade. Can you guys see that? It's pointy. And it has the number 41 on it. Welcome, Kathy. So all you do, push in the little button and put that in. I just turn it till it fits. And then we stick that in. And we're good to go. Okay, let's go back to design space. So if anybody has ever any questions on this, I do it step by step. Okay, now we're gonna hit continue. No, I don't plan on epoxying after engraving. I don't think there's any reason to do that. Oh, you say they tarnish? Oh, do the aluminum? Oh, do they tarnish? I have no clue. Okay. Um, we are going to go to browse all. And we are going to... Well, it lists uh, uh, compatible because I have it for engraving. Uh, and I just saw it. We're going to try this, anodized aluminum. So we're going to try. Remember, I've not done this. Okay, and I'm going to click done. And um, I guess that's it. Now it says right here, load engraving tip into clamp B, and it tells you the number right here. Uh, Kathy is saying, do the, do the wheels always have to be moved to the right? Only when you're doing something that is thicker than like paper and stuff. If you have something that they may mark, or they could break if they're trying to go over this bracelet or over acrylic. You might hear some cracking. So always try to remember to do that. Okay, and I think we're ready. Okay, let me go back. The light is blinking. Okay, here it goes, guys. Are, are we, we, it looks like it's right. We're gonna hit go. Oh, <laughs> who does this? I do this all the time. I load the mat and then I do something else. I'm like, why isn't it cutting? Because I forgot to hit this button. Okay. I'm nervous. But, you know, it did great last time. Thank you, Grace. Welcome to the channel. Oh, oh, yeah, it's thinking. 
Um, oh my gosh. Okay, there it goes. Is it doing it on the right spot? I think so. Um, I also shared a file for you. I, people are asking for teacher files and stuff. Make a teacher t-shirt or something out of vinyl. And if you're on my channel and you click, go to my YouTube channel and click on community, you will see a free file. Well, it's my project. It's free. The, it, I know one of the images are completely free right now, but they're Cricut Access images that I put together. Okay, now it's lifted up and it's spinning and spinning. It's cleaning itself off. And um, <laughs> I'm just thinking, wouldn't it be nice if other things stood up and spinned on their own and cleaned themselves off. That would be amazing. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should have moved this up a little higher. Oh, because I did do it uneven, I think. Because you can see, <laughs> when I look at it this, oh, you guys can't see. Hold on, let me move the camera down. I did right here it's even with this one and remember I was trying to do it higher I should have done it a little bit higher because it actually engraved exactly where it was set to engrave it's my fault for not placing this on the right spot because well to be honest because I was in a live video and I couldn't see I was trying to put the line above this line and actually you can see that line there I didn't look at it close enough but look, I am grateful. Let me wipe it off. It probably has some dust in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take it off the mat. Now we have to figure out how to bend it. I could possibly reuse this tape too but I have like seven rolls of it in different colors so I don't think I'm gonna... okay so one lesson oh. let me try to make this even can you see that better one lesson is to put your bracelet on straight but we could turn this over and do it again. But I just want to learn how to curve it. This will just be our practice one. Okay. Has anyone ever done this before? Who's done this before? I, I'm thinking you just stick it in there, you bend it over, and then you flip it over and do it again. Is that right? That looks like that would be right. Okay. Yes, Kathy, I could engrave the other side and move it down. So whenever you're doing these bracelets, know that you could do that. But for time's sake, I don't want to do that. I have more than enough bracelets. So I'm just going to, we're going to, oh, this is kind of heavy. We're going to see how this works. Um, we also have this marker. And what this marker does is make it, it's a stamp enamel marker to make it so it's darker so you can see it better. I'm not sure how that works. <sighs> Easy with the tool to bend. Thank you, I hope so. Put end in and just like the picture. Okay. Oh, it's really easy.
Seattle Memphis will fit me. But okay, this this one's a little bit harder, but not too hard really. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, I I, I didn't do that well. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta do this side better. I didn't bend it all the way like I did the other side. Okay. Let me look. I wasn't paying attention to anything of what I was doing. I was just bending it. Okay, I kind of went, so that was kind of even. So let me do that here. I didn't bend it far enough. Yeah, see, I don't think this will fit me, but I got fat arms. But that's pretty cool. Wait, where's the camera? It really engraved it kind of deep, it seems. Okay. Okay, Abby on Facebook says, yes, just be careful to slowly do it. Otherwise, you will end with a bit of a dent where you bent it. Great tip. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, where do you get that tool? There's a link in the description that it comes in this package together with the bracelets. And I, am I thinking right? Was this only like $7? I don't know how much it was. It wasn't very much. Maybe 14 I, I don't know. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't very expensive. Okay, I'm going to see how this works. I don't know. Oh, and there's a little tip here. So now that I have this piece, if I wanted to buy more bracelets, I could just buy the bracelets and not have to purchase the tool again. Oh my gosh, look at that. I was worried about opening this and losing this little tip here, but it's actually attached to it. I feel like I need to read directions. Does anyone have any tips on this? Oh, look, directions right on it. Initiate you. <laughs> the directions say initiate, use, Dry in one to three minutes, wipe excess. That's kind of awesome. Okay. We're going to initiate. So they give you an extra little tip. I think what initiate means, look at that, I got some scrap paper here, is usually, um, I'm going to shake it because it has a little ball in there like paint. Oh, someone, Charlene on Facebook says you could hammer to add texture. Okay. A lot of pens like this or paint pens, you have to kind of push down to let some of the ink come through. So it's a white tip right now. So I'm kind of just pressing it down. Sometimes it takes a minute. Oh, here it comes. It seems like this would be too thick. I don't know if these come in more sizes or not. This is by Impress Art. I did purchase this on my own. Impress Art didn't send me anything. Okay. Where's it at? Oh. Okay. I can't see what you guys can see. I want to make sure I'm in camera. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm not a very good color. I got to stay in the lines. Okay. Good thing they say wipe it off. Oh, and what I'm going to do, 
oh, you know what I should have done is I should have just done the word grateful. But I'm going to do just the words I am, and then we're going to see what happens. Thank you, Ronald. Okay. Okay, I think we can be messy. I don't, that's just what I'm thinking, because because I'm being messy. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, and you guys, if you're not subscribed, click subscribe and click the bell. And uh, I have an announcement. You guys ready for that announcement? I am going to be giving away a Cricut Maker. Sponsored by Cricut. They're giving me a Cricut Maker to give away. It's going to be shipped from them. This giveaway is not today, but it will be in a live video on my channel this month. Thank you for joining my channel. And you can pick the color of your choice as long as that color is in stock. So try to make it to my live videos next Saturday. No, not Saturday. Next Thursday Night Live. You guys, I'm calling these videos Thursday Night Live. What do you think of that? Since I'm on Thursdays, I'm going to sit and talk to you guys while this is drying. Since it's on Thursdays, I always do that to my hair and it's a mess. Uh, I thought Thursday Night Live. Isn't that fun? Well, next Thursday, Carol Prevost coming here. I have to go pick her up Thursday morning at the airport. And she is coming because Friday we have a meet and greet in Orlando. So if any of you are coming to the meet and greet, I will be there in Orlando at the lunch. I know for sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be at the Michaels in the morning. But I will be at the lunch. And what was I going to say? Oh, you have to come up to me and talk to me because I make videos. All right. Okay. Is it dry yet? Oh. It's dry. It doesn't wipe off. Oh, I got baby wipes. <laughs> Do I get excited? I get excited over the littlest things in life that there just happen to be. These are actually, <laughs> they're actually young living baby wipes. I got free with my order. Okay, um, and they they smell really good. Okay, so I thought maybe I could just wipe it off with my finger. That's not working. We're gonna try the baby wipe. Here, I'll just try it right here. This camera's better. I can. I'm just wiping it off. I I don't know. I guess it looks better. Maybe I'll do it again. Do you see the I am? I guess it's darker than the grateful. That's why I didn't do it all. Because I wanted, and I got part of that towel on there. Let me wipe this really good with the baby wipe. Do you hear Kobe snoring, my dog? Okay, maybe I didn't let it dry enough. It's getting like fibers from the baby wipe. It did make it darker. I'm gonna do it again. So I'm just coloring on top. I gotta see it, hold on. Oh, now it's coming out better. It's more liquidy. Probably because this uh, got to initiate longer. Okay, we're going to do it again. What I'm doing is I'm just coloring over the engraved area. I'm so good at that, aren't I? Okay, we're gonna let this dry again. 
but it, it came out much more liquidy this time. Oh, somebody says dry cloth buffing off the ink. What kind of dry cloth? Uh, Kathy says, just cover the whole thing up over the letters. Oh, somebody says, I would wipe it while it's wet. It leaves it in the engraved area. <gasps> oh. Okay, let me try that just on the... Um, It does, it's, it's there. Okay, I wiped it off. I see that you can see the am and the grateful you can see the am better than the grateful i think i got stuff on the bracelet one long swipe you are squinting yeah i do that i, I should be wearing glasses but I can see up close pretty well, except for this morning. I really realized I have old eyes. Do you guys want to see what I bought from Amazon? I shared it on my Facebook. It's not crafty, but it's and it's it's got to be made in China because it said if this causes fever, then uh, turn off. And it doesn't cause fever. It meant if the device gets hot. It's crazy. And it was tiny, tiny, tiny. Don't use a wet wipe, maybe. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay, I used my finger and I did the eye and it seems like it totally came out of the eye. Like, I think it is better to do it can you see that better? See how the eye doesn't look as good as the A&M? Maybe do it while it's wet. And maybe we need to practice. Not everything is good the first time you do it. This is a lesson. You know what, Sheila? I was wondering if you could use alcohol inks on the bracelets and color them. Can you use alcohol ink on aluminum? I think you can, right? I'm gonna do it again. Maybe you need to dry it. It needs to dry more, maybe. Is there a professional out there that has done this before? Hi, T-Pain and Twitch. Uh, any more 3D stuff you're going to make? I will. I don't have any planned at the moment. I love 3D stuff. Isn't there a buffer on the pen? Is that, this is like an extra tip. Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking. Use alcohol inks to color your bracelet. Oh, maybe I need to blow that air into this and really clean out any pieces that were engraved off too.
Oh, and you could use the alcohol markers. Leslie thinks the mustache font would take the ink better, probably, because it's it's there's more engraving to it. It's thicker. I think that other one would too, that DJ font one I liked. Should we try alcohol inks and just play with it to color it? I don't think the marker is doing a whole lot. I just tried it again. You can see it a little bit. Okay. Let's, um, are we gonna play? Shall we play? I'm gonna get some alcohol inks. Cause I have all these alcohol inks. Um that I don't think I've ever used. Do I got enough? Okay, I'm gonna put a Teflon sheet down. All right. Oh, do you guys want to see what I was talking about that I bought? It's my bracelet. Okay, we'll play. <laughs> let me let me show you something really fast though. Hold on. Oh, wait. Look, it's, it's a fan. <laughs> and it has LED lights. Can't see the lights very well because of my lights. But it changes lights, kind of like that engraving thing I did. And you can move them. And if you're really, I, I bought these to do VR because sometimes when, like, I could ride a roller coaster in virtual reality and it kind of makes me sick. But if I have air blowing on me, like I'm really moving, it might make me not sick. And for when I'm doing the sport things and sweating, this will keep me cooler. Isn't that fun? It just wraps around your neck. And it has, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see these lights better. I have no idea why it has lights. The lights are for no reason whatsoever, and it's rechargeable. Isn't that fun? Look, you can move these. Okay, I just had to share that, because I just think it's fun. It has three speeds on it. Oh, turn the lights off. There we go. Okay, let's play. Okay, where are we? Let's go overhead. Oh, and these light, these this fan was only $13.99 on Amazon. There might be a link down below. I said, Kelly, you should give them a link to this. I'm gonna show them these fans. It's just awesome. Okay. Are you guys nervous? Okay, you guys, I've not used these. Look at that color, that's pretty. Um, I've watched Tim Holtz use these and that's why I bought them. Do they not say what color they are? I guess they don't. Oh, there's no link. Okay. I have the link on my Facebook page. Let me find, or maybe I'll just go to. Amazon. It's really easy. I just go to my list of things I bought. It's only $13.99. You guys, I was thinking this would be great to wear to Disney World 
anywhere that's hot. Okay. So, you guys, I have not played with these. Where's my paper towels? <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty color. I want to mix colors, though. Um, maybe some blues, greens. Ooh, pink. We're just going to play. Oh, hope this lid goes with this. Oh, I should probably shake them, should I? You guys, what do I do with this after I put these on here? Ooh, look at that. Okay, that pink just kind of... Um, I don't want to do colors that won't blend. Are these the same? No. Ooh, green and pink won't go together. Ooh, look at that. Let's turn it this way. You guys, this is just a fun disaster. Um, wipe with dry cloth. Oh, here's my paper towels. Oh. I should probably wear gloves, maybe. I, I seen people use this solution, so I bought some. You guys, I'm not the only one that watches crafty um, YouTube videos and buys things and don't use them. I have all these plans and ideas for all this stuff. What does this stuff do? Oh, look at that. It wipes it right off. <laughs> now we can start over. This is fun. Let's do it again. Oh, let's open this up and just. Okay, where'd the pink go? Did I put it away? Oh, look, I think I'm using these colors. Oh no, this is called raspberry. There's the name. That one's called flamingo. Okay, now what do I do with this? What do you think? I feel like I need a different color right there. No, let's just do that. Oh, that looks cool. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's cool. So should I just let this dry? I'm just dropping, I'm just dropping these drops on it. You guys, I don't know if that's the correct way. 
or if I should put it on something else and use like a brush to put it on or a sponge. You see it? Okay, I'm getting some wipe offs. Oh, it will scratch off. Maybe just a little squeegee. Jan says, rub impression marker over letters, wait three to five minutes and then wipe off. Maybe I wasn't letting it sit long enough. Yeah, alcohol ink dries very quickly. Maybe I'm going to roll it off. Oh, see, it's kind of coming off. It's really pretty. It's thick in spots. Here, let's go to this other camera. It's kind of neat looking. Okay, now what do I do with it? Like, do I wipe it? Do I just let it be? Do I use a baby wipe? Do I use a paper towel? <laughs> Claire says, nope, start over. Okay, paper towel isn't doing anything. When I did roll it, though, there's two spots there that came off, probably because it wasn't dry. Yeah, now that's what I was thinking also. Holly says to ink it first and then engrave it. I think that might work best. I can see the engraving, but not very well. If I were to ink it first... Like the sides are getting messy too. Um, that side's done. Don't use baby wipes. But what, I mean, can you get it wet then? Are you not allowed to get it wet? Because I wouldn't want to get this wet and then have ink get on my clothing. Like if I ran out in the rain, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want that to happen. Oh, I don't know the baby wipes have alcohol. Leaf juice, sepidus, soap berry, fruit extract, glycerin. It does have alcohol. Phenethyl alcohol. It has apple fruit extract, marigold flower extract, lavandula. Lavender oil, that's what lavender is. His witch hazel leaf extract. Bergamot, that's a really good oil. <gasps> Lang Lang flower oil, I love those. Maybe that's why I love this so much. The Lang Lang flower. Yeah, anything with alcohol will remove it. Okay, where's my water bottle? All right, let's go back over to overhead. I'm going to go grab my water bottle, and we're just going to use straight water. Because I feel like I need to clean this or something. Okay. There. Oh, that's 
awesome. Oh, I did take some. Now, see, I, it got really thick in some spots that I think should not be. But we could just color those spots again. And this is too blue. See? Oh, I got an idea. Okay, here's the baby wipe. I'm going to take some of this off. Okay, the baby wipe does not have much alcohol in it. And then we could color some again. Oh, I love the idea. I'm going to put this. This is an alcohol blending solution. This took it off before. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't want to take it all off, but some of it would be pretty. And then we're going to red color with the pink. Okay, and who, are my hands still going to be like this tomorrow when I go get my hair colored? I want more green. Here I go again, putting so much on it. I should use that purple color. Okay, now I'm rubbing it. That's not such a good idea. I hope you guys are learning from my mistakes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, this will probably clean it off my hands. Oh my gosh, watch it disappear. Oh, that's not a great idea. Rubbing alcohol should take it off your hands. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> Look how it, it it removes it from the spot where it was. I think it's too much blue. I don't like all that blue. Does anyone else do this and just kind of play? Okay, so we have found out alcohol will remove it. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we're gonna come back. And then I'm going to show you in this other camera because I think you can see it better over here. And I'm going to wipe my hands with these baby wipes. Oh, the blending solution is alcohol. I was kind of thinking that actually. I was wondering. So they just put it in a fancy bottle. Rubbing alcohol is much cheaper than blending solution to clean your hands. Thank you. You guys, that's right. If if I never made mistakes in life, I would be a sad, sad individual. You learn from your mistakes. That's how I learn everything. I've learned so much from my mistakes. Um, I did hair for 25 years. I specialized in hair color. And um, the only reason I specialized in hair color is because I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning. I wasn't afraid to try new things. I would try things that they said you couldn't do because I don't believe it unless I do it myself. And I'm like, yeah, they were right. That doesn't work. You can't lift color with hair color. If you have your hair colored and you put more hair color, 
not bleach or lightener. If you put hair color, you can't. It does nothing. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work that way. So, and, you know, I made lots of mistakes. I made mistakes cutting hair. That's how I learned. That's how I became specialized in it is because I wasn't afraid to try new things. Especially with hair color, you can usually fix it. And that's okay, that's how I really learned. I didn't just learn from my mistakes and they left the salon with ugly hair. I learned from my mistakes and I had to figure out how to fix them so they don't go home and cry. Yeah. That's how I learned. Okay. Yeah, a box of rubber gloves would be great. Yeah, see, that's why I'm used to this. I, I had hair color on my hands almost every single day. Okay, let's look at this. It's really, see, and there's dark spots where it's thick. See that line there? That's still kind of thick and it's not dry yet. Ooh, that's pretty right there. See, oh, let me see if I can. It kind of has some green in it. Yeah, the back isn't very pretty. But like I said, this is a total experiment. Um, maybe next time I will try this and then we'll engrave it afterwards. But I might do it ahead of time and then show you because... If that didn't work, that would just be a waste of time. I'll try to wipe this thick piece. No, see, I try to wipe that thick piece and I wiped around it where it's not thick. So that doesn't really work. Hmm. Okay, now I just wiped it again. I'm wiping it with that baby wipe. Don't do that. Uh, Melody, where did you get your Cricut stuff to animal on the shelf behind you? Years and years ago, Cricut had them on clearance. Um, I had that little one, and then I have a 14-inch one. I actually, when they had 14-inch ones, I think I bought four of them. They had them on clearance for $5, normally $20. i am like, oh my gosh, why are these only $5? So I bought some, and I saved some. I had... Two of them in plastic. I don't know what happened to the other one. I might have given it to somebody. But I had two of them, one for me, and then two of them in plastic. One of them I gave away for my 100,000 subscriber giveaway. And I still have one more. And we don't know what I'm doing with that yet. But it's still in plastic. And I have it hidden. So I have another one. One is the one I have that's mine is sitting on my uh, big tall flamingo. I bought at Hobby Lobby and he has a little uh, St. Pat. No, what's he got? Yeah, St. Patrick's Day hat on. A little glittery hat. Okay. Rub some foil on it. Oh. Connie, you missed the whole video. Yes, you guys missed the engraving part. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. We have just been playing uh, the last 20 minutes or so. I think 30 minutes we've just been playing. So I'm, we're going to end this video. So those of you that missed the engraving, you can go back and watch it and see the engraving. Hold on, let me... Foil the goopy... I missed that comment. Okay, are you going back red? Foil the go goopy wet spots. Okay, so foil. Oh. Can I, are you talking about deco foil? Can I put that on there? Does that work? Or are you talking about like aluminum foil and I can kind of wipe it? Can you put a sealer on it so it doesn't come off on your clothes? Michelle is asking on Facebook. If anybody has that answer, please reply to Michelle. I don't know that answer. I 
I don't know. I do still have a discount code. It's right with my link uh, where I purchase, where you can purchase the stuff. Did you guys see the sale at Cricut? My discount code is M Lane, M L A N E. Uh, and I don't get credit or commission when you use that code unless you use it with the link that I share. Um, and you can buy anything from any of the Cricut links. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so, okay, here's, you guys have homework. You are going to play with something new. If you don't have an engraver to engrave, play with some alcohol inks like we did. Um, take some advice, some of the others in the chat. And if you are watching the replay and you have great advice, I'd love to hear it. And hopefully everybody else would too. Go ahead and put them in the comments. Oh, Glenda, great. Glenda says you can put clear fingernail polish over it to seal it. That is a great idea. Oh, Penny on YouTube says deco foil will stick to semi-dry alcohol ink. I did not know that. Thank you. That is a great tip. We might have to play with, if you guys want me to play with alcohol inks, and we don't have to just play with them on bracelets or engraving, we can do whatever we want, because we can do whatever we want on my channel. Uh, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to play with, or what you want me to play with, and uh, we can try that. I like kind of just crafting with you guys and playing, and you guys are giving great advice. And I get my hands dirty and not yours. Um, Michelle's asking where I got my watch band. Amazon. It's got butterflies on it. They're real cheap. All right, guys, thank you so much. Oh, you po paper for the alcohol inks. <gasps> Belinda Waters, thank you so much for telling me that. I bought you po paper like four years ago to play with these alcohol inks that I haven't played with that I've had for like four years. And I just haven't done it. Yeah, and I have Gina K foil. Yeah, so tell me what you guys want to see, especially on Thursday Night Live. I think that's kind of fun if we like use Thursday Night Live sometimes just to kind of play and experiment and hang out. What is the name of the video you did for acrylic? Um, it was this one. Hold on. Look. It was this one. Let me turn it on. Can you guys see? So we engraved this live. Wait, oh, I'm not. I'm like, why isn't it? Um, I think on the thumbnail of this video, it says, let's engrave. If you guys go to my channel, and click on videos at the top it says home and then it says videos click on videos and it will list all my videos in order and it was just a few weeks ago so maybe six videos ago or something it says let's engrave on it and it has a picture of that without the engraving it doesn't it's i took the picture before we engraved it all right guys Love you, and we will see you Saturday morning for Design Space class, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys. Bye.